So I'm not asking a question out of the blue. Yeah. MG was clearly mentioned in the house. Uh -huh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> I noticed that a lot of these issues yeah, are coming from question. people interfering in our life. Yeah, oh. if you say MG matter, be my chest. That's why I say yes, I hear it. The tip yeah. Because wait, 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 wait. the voice note from your WhatsApp group that you opened because of that, yeah, three people, only you, and the two other girls that you open, I were talking trash, but I never said anything to you, and I never addressed even when people right, were trying it. I'm way past it. Can I address this? Can yeah, I address sure. it? Sure. Good. No, be you a carry come, but now you are go carry go. Sing with me. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, okay, guys. You remember what happened yesterday, yeah? If you have not watched the video, I'm going to leave it at the end so you will see it. Yesterday, Diane literally walked out of the studio because they mentioned a name, Maoli Gavo, and the code word is MG. So the real gist has finally busted out and we are going to find out what happened. Just keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you're absolutely welcome. If you're a regular viewer, thank you so much for always clicking. Please subscribe before you leave, okay? You do not want to miss out on the gist. Let me just tell you guys what happened. So, guys, you see this gist? I don't even know where to start from, so I'm going to be going back and forth, but just take it as it comes, okay? So now, Diane started. She was boiling like everything was shaking oh elozonam man up elozonam you did this elozonam is not forgiving elozonam you did not talk this i spoke to you about this elozonam you opened a group with two other girls discussing my matter elozonam why is it that anytime we discuss something i end up hearing it outside elozonam you went ahead to tell people things that we had already talked about that you're not going to tell anybody elozonam i know what you did just man up and take it at this point, I did not understand what was going on. What is Diane saying exactly? Diane, what did Elo do? At this point, Elo was just like, hmm, really? Like, what did I do? So I'm like, can you guys just explain what happened? Guys, if you know that this thing was a suspense to you as well, I like couldn't just wait for Elo to talk, please comment below. As in, Elo was just waiting for his turn. Diane just went on and on about the fact that Elo Zonam did something wrong. Elo Zonam is, in fact, they did not work out. They should not even just talk about the matter. Elo Zonam is the devil. When Elo Zonam now finally wanted to talk, Diane now said, okay, in fact, let her just talk about it. That's how Mauli Gavor's story started. So, she fact, Diane did not even mention his name. She says, so, it was in the party, yeah? We were in the party. I called my friend. My friend came to the party. So, my friend came to the party and then my friend took me to the hotel. So, that was it. And I'm like, who is this friend? Who is this? What is this party? What is going on here? And was like, like, please, let me just say the full story. This is your own part of the story. This is not the complete story. So, that is when, and see, guys, sit down. Gather around. Let me give you people the breakdown of this. Elozonam side of the story to Diane's face and Diane did not deny. So this is what it is. Elozonam said they went for the BB Ninja party. That before they even went for that Messi's party or any other party that they already went to Beth Ninja party. So at the Beth Ninja party Diane was there but Diane was not present. She just was going on and on with her phone, chatting, laughing, calling and flirting on the phone and people were there. He said he didn't say anything, he just let it be. But then after that, they spoke about it and then they moved on, talking about MG. Remember the code word MG, Maoli Gavo. So he said after that time, they went, they decided to go for, of course, their BB Ninja party. They went for the party, they were there. Next thing again, Diane went again with her phone, pressing her phone. He was like, man, he can't take this. Joshua walked up to EK to tell EK that, see you, see what is going to happen. From the way Diane is already talking over, the, she's making calls, smiling, pressing her phone. He just told EK, EK, watch, this guy is going to come in. MG, Maoli Gavo, is going to come in. He said 10 seconds later, like, he didn't even wait for how many seconds. Maoli Gavo shows up. He came to the party and according to Elo, he already knew Maoli Gavo before that time. So he said two of them, would do, um, Maoli came, oh they shook hands, oh hey, hi, greeted and then he went to meet Diane. Him and Diane were in the party, he said he was just there. He got so pissed that he said people caught it on camera, he even got dragged on social media because of this Maoli Gavo and Diane gist. So he said that he got pissed and he went to the car. 
He said, yes, he was pissed, but he didn't lose his home training, so he decided to wait for Diane, seeing that him and Diane came to the party together. This song that I started the video with is going to make sense very soon. Just hold on. So, he waited in the car. Diane walks out of the gates, and then Diane is on the phone and making a call, looking for someone. He said it wasn't him. Next thing she saw, she saw that Diane walked into Maoli Gavon's car, and she was going to go with him. He still swallowed his pride though. He still picked up his phone and he called Diane while she was sitting in Maoli Gavos' car. Babe, are you seriously going to live with that guy? Really? And she's like, hey, I was looking for you. I didn't see you. He said, you could have called me because she obviously called Maoli Gavon when she came out of the gate. You could have called me. But she didn't. She said, please, please, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. And guys, join me again and sing. No, be you, I can't recall. Eh, eh. But now you are the carry go. I don't even know why I'm laughing, but this thing, eh, I don't know if I'm going to call it an Ella. I don't even know if I'm going to call it pure wickedness. Like, this thing is sweet or when it comes to the girl part. But you see to the guy, it is deadly. Like, it is heartbreaking. This is not all. Though. Let's go. Let's just keep going on in the gist. He said, so they went to their hotel room, yeah? So when they got to the hotel, he said he saw Diane again and the Maoli guy at the hotel. He was so pissed. He said he even saw Kim there. And Kim was like, nobody should call my name more at this point. Please, I don't want to be dragged into this mix. So he said he was so pissed. He had a mutual friend with Isilomo who was in Isilomo's room. So he said he went and he called the girl. To have a conversation with her because he really needed to vent he really needed to talk to somebody so he called this girl and he vented was talking chat told him told the girl everything so before before now yeah he had established that he had the best because Ebuka asked the question he said i heard that hello you have a situation ship that has probably also cost to your relationship with Diane not to work. So, are you going to say that um, there's a situation ship? He said, no, he just has a bestie, that that is what it is, that the bestie has been there long time ago and she's still there. That is what it is, that there's nothing more. So, when Ebuka was talking about the girl he went to bring from Isolomo's room, Ebuka asked her to, for us to be clear, is it the bestie girl? He said, no, it is not the bestie, it is just somebody entirely different. So he said he was venting to the girl, explaining what had happened to the girl because he really needed to talk to someone. Then next thing, Diane came to his door, knocked, and he was like, he doesn't want to talk because he really didn't want to talk, seeing that she had performed all, those, all the things that she had done. So the person that was in the room, with, so Diana asked him, do you have company? He said, yes, I have company. And Diane shoved him and went into the room to confirm who the company was guys can you see what is going on here so me now i don't have the right to come and be shoving people to shove you and drag you from your mouth i don't have that right to tell you no don't talk to this person but you can shove me to walk into my room to check who i'm with but no that is not where it ended so she after she had confirmed, she said she wanted to talk. He said he didn't want to talk. But then, according to him, the girl who was with him just told him, oh, talk to her, hear her out, whatever it was. So they came out. He said he vented, vented, vented. Then he told her, he said, please pick your options. You get me? Like, you need to pick your options because I cannot do this. Like, I cannot be going back and forth. You need to clear the air. Because it is not fair. Whatever it is you are doing with this guy or whatever is going on, you need to either end it or set it, settle it first before you now come back to me. So what he did was he just made it clear to Diane that, see, eh, if you're not settling this thing, I just want to move on. So that was it for the night. So Kim was there. They're not there asking Kim some questions. In all these things, in everything that Elozona was explaining, Diane was just smiling. Like she didn't deny anything. Another thing that Elozona said is that that same night, he took the girl and he went to drop her off in Isilomo's room. And Avala and Isilomo can, can testify to that because he slept alone in his room. So now the question is, guys, where did Sister Diana see you? Diana, oh Diana, hey, I want to take you away. See, guys, eh, I don't know why I'm happy. It just feels like I'm happy that evil or bad is going on. You see, Diana, I really don't know. You see, I've been trying my best, yeah, not to join the rest of the world to say Diana is confused. But at this point, she's confused. Yes, she's confused. Like, see, 
see in Luzona, like you can see how pained he is, how he really, really likes Diane, and how he wants her. See, if it's me, if I want to even take all those things that Elo took, like I came to the party with you, we went to the, we went, you left the party without me, I called you on the phone, you didn't come back to meet me, I came to the hotel and I saw you with this same guy, and you still have the ghost to be talking to me you get me you know so that is the whole drama guys myself i weak shocky hold me die yo eh brother ike don't sing him. brother chike sorry brother chike don't sing him. shock hold me die guys so this is not the whole gist though if you remember some of the other things that happened with diane and elo please comment below because my head is full now that we have cleared this whole um, diane and elo's gist let's talk about the rest people because that is also another thing that happened but you see all this my energy that i used to talk about this diane's issue it is what it is now let's talk about the rest thing that not happened in the house Moving on, Abel can now ask um, E.K. if um, Jackie liked anybody in the house. Like, does he think that Jackie liked anybody in the house? He said from his own um, point of view, he's not going to say Jackie liked anybody. That He said when he came in, uh, they were like girls who he knew that, oh, this one, no gray area. He mentioned Kim's name as well. And it looked like they didn't like anybody. They were just really strict, so he just moved on. And Jackie was one of them. So he kind of brought his attention to the fact that a lot of people, especially outside the house, felt like Jackie and Mike had something. So Ike now said he felt like what they had was like a brother-sister relationship, really, that anytime he sees Jackie and Mike playing or jumping and all, he, it reminds him of his younger brother and younger sister playing. So he's not going to say anything happened. Plus, Jackie always talks about her boyfriend. He said, when I heard Jackie talking about or heard Jackie's boyfriend's name coming up for the third time, maybe the tenth time, he just said, man, man, this girl is not going to be with anybody in this house. So moving on, they now ask Fraud that what does he think about Jackie and Mike? He said, eh, to a large extent, so it looks like they were, you know, doing as if they liked each other, but then it's not it's not what it is that because Jackie had a boyfriend that she loved so much. Right now the boyfriend is an ex, he's no more in the picture. So they now showed us a clip. Now, this clip was with Jackie talking about this her boyfriend in the house and how she was saying that he cheated, that she has never cheated on him, but he cheated on her. She made a statement. She said that she believes that she, instead of her to, you know, give one million men one, one chances, she will give one man one million chances. Those are some of the things that she said that made her um, you know, still was holding on to this her boyfriend and she was still in a relationship that she's willing to, you know, give him a chance to make him change. Then Mike made a valid point. He's like, if you are giving me one million chances, I'm definitely going to take one million chances. He's saying that the chances are too much. Yeah, give him chance, give him a chance, give him two chances, give him three chances. But you're saying one million chances. If it's me, I'm definitely going to grab it. So if he's cheating, I mean, I mean, probably cheat one million times because I know you will forgive me one million times. And then Jackie tried to explain that she's just trying to say these things because she's not out here. She's not all about making her relationship perfect. She just wants people to know that, yeah, that there are things that go on in relationships that, oh, girls or people just feel like um, this, the people hide it. Girls don't talk about this. Like they know that their boyfriends cheat, but when they come out, they'll act like, oh, he doesn't cheat but she really wanted to just talk about it so that they know that these things happen so Ebukana, when they came back after the clip Ebukana asked her that oh okay why did she make him um paint him in that light she was not like he's a great person she really values him that she likes um him because he is a major part of her life she said i value him a lot i cherish him i feel like the world doesn't understand him so you know she just went on and on about him and then can now asked he said he's not um, part of the Big Brother show, but you made him part when you started talking about him and every other person knew him, you know, in the house. But I just want to find out what caused the issue. Is it your um, your participation in the Big Brother show that caused your breakup or it is something else? Because I'm, I just want to know that if that is what it is, then it concerns us. If, but if that is not what the case is, then it's not our business. So she now said she struggled, 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 but then she now said she, uh, that no, 
that the show was not the reason why they broke up and then she didn't want to talk about it as well so that was how today's episode ended though tomorrow is still looking like there's going to be a bass boost because if you see the margaret thatcher part of esther tonight esther was already finishing fraud so guys you do not want to miss tomorrow's episode you know how it they be now i see the heart i'm bringing it to you so please comment below i need us to talk about this dialo thing what is going on guys ah diane Sha. I want to be like you when I grow up. Oh, let them be dying for me. Men, one drag my skirt, another one drag my trouser, another one drag my hair. Please, let them be. Now then they rush us. Ah, guys, it's okay, it's okay. Bye, subscribe. Bye, bye, bye.